by the doctor. I'd like to discuss a topic now that is called the primary biliary cirrhosis features. Primary biliary cirrhosis is a chronic liver disease disorder, typically seen in the middle-aged female, female-male ratio 9 is to 1. So female circle. Etiology is not fully understood, although it is thought to be an autoimmune condition. Interlobular bile ducts become damaged by a chronic inflammatory process causing progressive cholestasis, which may eventually progress to cirrhosis. The classic presentation is eating in a middle-aged woman that we need to know. Chronical features, early features may be asymptomatic, raised LP on routine liver function test or fatigue, pruritus, cholesterol, jaundice, hyperpigmentation, especially over the pressure piles, xanthelasma, xanthomata, also clubbing and hepatosplenomegaly, late may progress to the liver failure, complications the malabsorption. Why? Because of OS2 leading to the OS2 malaria and coagulopathy. Sika syndrome occurs in 70% cases. Portal hypertension, that is the ascites and variceal hemorrhage, and hepatocellular cancer, 20-fold increase. Once again, 20 circle, 20-fold increase to risk development of the hepatocellular carcinoma. So primary biliary cirrhosis associations Jogren syndrome adjacent up to the 80% of the patients, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic sclerosis, and thyroid disease. Diagnosis anti mitochondrial antibody AMA, AMA, circle, M2 subtype are present in 98% patients and are highly specific antibodies. Smooth muscle antibodies are also found in 30% cases and raised serum IgM. Management pruritus for cholesterol, fat soluble vitamin supplementations, arsodeoxycholic acid, all right, as well as the liver transplantation in bilirubin greater than 100, PBC is a major indication. Recurrence in the graph can occur but is not usually a problem. My dear, listen very carefully. A very good discussion of the primary biliary cirrhosis. Remember the disease, uh, autoimmune disease, chronic liver disease. So what I am saying, my dear, this is very important as this box. Primary biliary cirrhosis. We call the primary primary person in your home or at your home. There is your mother, or maybe your wife. All right, sometimes it happens. All right. So once again, the primarily, primarily, primarily means the primary person at your home. That is the mother. So I say sometimes, this is a mother disease. PBC is nothing but a mother disease. So PBC, as I say, the primary means the mother, primary mother, mother disease. Means this is happening in a female person, all right? So in Bengali, sometimes I used to joke, all right? Primary body recovery means, of course, primarily home management done by the mother, so he has the mother disease. So how this is mother, and sometimes you are saying this is mother in Bengali, all right, the peoples, or maybe in Hindi and also in Urdu, sometimes the people say it's an Amma disease, or we can say it's an Amma disease, that would be also helpful, mother disease. If I'm writing this is Amma disease, means the mother disease, all right. Let's talk about it. How this is mother disease is PBC will be helpful. Let's talk about them. So yes, my dear, this is very important. Starting with that, the features, most important features, that is critical features I'm talking about. Usually the patients are, number one, middle-aged. So the rule of M, that will be helpful, yes. Middle-aged mother. What I'm saying, the middle-aged mother is a presentation. So we can write the middle-aged mother. The symptoms, 
Number one, the symptoms, they usually come up. We can write the, the two important symptoms, the malaise and marks. What I'm saying, the malaise and marks. Malaise means, yes, the fatigue, right? A weakness, extreme weakness, and with the marks, means the uh, pruritus marks, pruritus marks. We can write the pruritus plus the pigmentation, right? So, pruritus marks or pigmentation marks, and these two are the most common symptom the patient usually have. Next to the signs means what are the clinical findings that you are getting, signs. I'm saying the, the first clinical findings that we are getting that is ma. Ma means xanthelas ma, all right? So Xanthelasma, just say with me, Ma means Xanthelasma, Ma means mother, all right, Amma, no problem. Yes, this is due to the raised total cholesterol level. Next it is M, rule for Megali. And Megali means, yes, Hepatomegali. Remember Hepatomegali, my dear, Hepatomegali? Yes, the Hepatomegali. Hepatomegaly, once again, the syndrome we know, CLD with hepatomegaly with pigmentation, remember. So this is a syndrome already we talked about. If it is in mother, means amma, means in a female patient, so think about the PBC, the first diagnosis. Hepatomegaly, CLD, or CLD hepatomegaly pigmentation in a male person with the AHH, head hemochromatosis. So yes, the xanthomata, xanthalasma, sometimes the xanthomata, we can write the xanthomata. So once again, the mata means M, mata, xanthomata. Yes. So these are the important clinical findings that you're getting at the best side, right? Next number three, the investigations. Investigations we are getting marked. We are writing the mark, a market raised alkaline phosphorase on LFT. Means alkaline phosphorase is very, very high other than ALT, AST. So market alkaline phosphorase on LFT. as well as we're getting the most important M means, this is very important that we, we are getting the IgM antibody. And this is called M2 subtype of antibody is nothing but called the anti-mitochondrial antibody. What I'm saying? Amma antibody, yes, anti-mitochondrial antibody. Some, yes, antibodies. And also we do sometimes the biopsy. Biopsy findings will be, of course, the PBC. The word itself says the PBC means the primary biliary cirrhosis. So the word, the cirrhosis will be helpful. Investigations. Number fourth important points, minor, this is very important. PBC associations, yes. PBC associations, my dear, this is very important. PBC is a mother disease, so associated with all mother disease. All mother disease means the disease happened in the mothers. The most important disease that we need to remember, my dear, this is very important. That is, we call the Jogren syndrome, or we call the Jogren or Joga Queen, all right, means, yes, the Queen Joga. We can write the Jogren syndrome because we'll study in the chapter of rheumatology, the Jogren syndrome or Sjogren syndrome, whatever you say, 
as they as strongly associated is the sjogren syndrome along with that yes the rheumatoid arthritis hypothyroidism you can write but most important is you must know the sjogren syndrome means jogren syndrome all right number 5 important things the complications that we need to talk about a little bit all right complications complications yes my dear i am saying pvc complications is nothing but pvc what is that pvc is tends on right just write it down p for pst portal hypertension b for pericial hemorrhage hemorrhage means the pericial hemorrhage and c for my dear this is cancer means hepatocellular carcinoma and b for sometimes we are saying in Bang bengali that is bish means 20 all right bish means 20 all right so he has a 20 times increased risk of means in bengali bish all right no problem bish times we can say bish times increased risk of hepatocellular carcinoma means a pbc sometimes it will come up in your exam because of this you see the raised alkaline phosphate is a uh, increased raised alkaline phosphate is nothing but the cholestasis so cholestasis definitely will raise the cholesterol level and and their consequences especially cholestasis leading to co agulopathy means the uh, coagulopathy and also just o for just remember osteomalacia is another features so yes the cholestasis is leading to osteomalacia because of vitamin d fat soluble vitamin and because of cholestasis leading to chronic liver disease leading to c for coagulopathy this is very important my dear i am saying the chronic liver disease leading to coagulopathy and cholestasis means for osteomalacia remember side box side box another box will be helpful the access box of pbc here pbc symptoms pbc symptoms you should write the p usually come up with the danger is is pruritus and next b for bilirubin is raised these two important symptoms or we can write the features we should talk about why i am reading the p for pruritus and b for bilirubin we'll see later on once again another box for the pbc symptoms all right we can write the p stands on of course pigmentation and b for must remember the big liver and c stands on once again the clubbing we need to talk about right clubbing and we can put the c once again p for pruritus and once again C for cholestatic jaundice. So we can write the features once again. Another box. Features. Another box. The last talk that I'd like to do. 
the PBC treatment. PBC treatment, remember my dear. PBC treatment, we need to treat the pruritus and also the cholestasis, right? And cholestasis and their consequence, we need to provide them the treatment. But most important problem in the PBC is the leading to liver cirrhosis and having a chance of the hepatocellular carcinoma. But we need to remember PBC treatment liver transplantation. This is very important. Means liver transplantation indications. If I'm writing indications. So my dear, listen very carefully. PBC treatment liver transplant indications. So once again, P for pruritus and B for bilirubin. And it is said that bilirubin greater than 100 and pruritus, extreme pruritus, not controlled with all the measures, which interrupting with activity of daily lives. That is the indications of liver transplantation, PBC, remember, all right? I'd like to discuss a little bit more to talk about them so that the discussion will be more fruitful, all right? So starting with the PBC, as I said, the PBC is a mother disease, means the Amma disease, all right? The rule of M stands middle-aged mother. Malaise and marks. Ma means xanthalasma. Ma. Megali. Marked IgM antibody. And buffs is the PBC. All right. So the separate box, box, box. All right. Middle-aged mother. The symptoms. The symptoms box is the malaise and marks. Yes, once again, the pruritus and pigmentation. Signs, you see the signs, that is ma and megali. I'm saying the ma and megali syndrome. Ma and megali syndrome, megali means hepatomegaly, chronic liver disease, pigmentation, remember. And ma means xanthalasma and mata, once again. Next is the investigation box, my dear. You see investigation box? This is nothing but marked it, raised alkaline phosphate, LFT, and IgM antibody, which is an M2 subtype, which is an AMMA antibody, means the anti mitochondria antibody. And BAPS is the PVC, means the cirrhosis finding. Associated disorder is the mother disease. Mother disease is the Sjogren syndrome. Complications are P, B, C once again, P for portal hypertension, B for variceal hemorrhage, and C for cancer, and once again, P, B, B20 that we need to remember. So the complications box. So the number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, Number seven, talk, all right. Number eight, this is just in repetitions of the different ways so that we can remember. P, B, C features. Yes, P for pruritus, B for bilirubin, must be remembered. An extended box of the PBC, you see the P for pigmentation, B for big liver. Once again, this syndrome, remember? And C for clubbing. And other things that we need to remember C for clubbing, as the C for cholestatic jaundice, as well as the P for pruritus. This is the number nine box, this is the number 10 box. PBC treatment, liver transplantation indication, once again, the PBC P for pruritus and B for bilirubin. My dear, I'd like to discuss a little bit more. Sometimes the incidental finding of the raised alkaline phosphate in the male, in a middle-aged mother, sometimes we should think about this uh, case can be positive, all right, PVC. Primary biliary cirrhosis, provided that the bones, yes, and the known pregnant women. 
So we can make a box once again. Usually the mother middle agent sometimes in fatigue only the fatigue or extreme fatigue all right but incidental findings that raised alkaline phosphatase provided that she is non pregnant she is non pregnant as well as the provided then no bone disease So think about this is PBC. This is the number 11 box. Then I'm giving another scenario. As I said, the associated disorders are the mother disease with the Sjogren syndrome. This can be rheumatoid arthritis. This can be thyroid disease. As I said, they can come with malaise and fatigue. Sometimes it happens in your scenarios also, sometimes in your real life also. A middle-aged mother comes with extreme fatigue, fatigue and fatigue. And after a few days, she is diagnosed with a case of hypothyroidism. Hypothyroid patients, once again, you treated the patient, hypothyroid, hypothyroid treated the patient. Even then she is fatigue, fatigue and fatigue. And you've done some investigations, all the biochemistry, and you found that raised alkaline phosphatase Please think, provided that the known pregnant, no bone disease, so provided that you can think about the PBC is the likely diagnosis and do the further test to diagnose there is the AMMA antibody so that you can get the diagnosis in your hands. I hope that my dear, uh, the discussions will be fruitful. All right, I'm finishing that by giving a summary talk. So PBC is nothing but the mother and amma disease, means the M rule we are talking about. Middle-aged mother, middle-aged mother, M, M, malaise and marks, ma megali, market and alkaline phosphate, IgM, amma antibody, mother's disease, Jogren syndrome, rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid, and PBC is a complication in the PBC box. PBC feature pruritus and bilirubin, once again PBC, once again pigmentation and big liver syndrome. And with the PBC treatment, liver transplantation, the pruritus and bilirubin, that is very much important. And last box, the middle-aged mother having known pregnant and known bone disease, raised cell cannabis or fatigue, whatever the syndromes, all right? Think about the PBC as a diagnostic test and do an um antibody get your diagnosis in your hands. I hope that my dear, this is very important discussion and these colorful boxes will be really, really helpful. So thank you, thank you very much. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell button to get more updates.